some of you know I'm self-taught. I've learned a lot of things that uh, later down the line I found out to be from YouTube. This one though, I'm not so sure. I can't help but think this probably isn't. But nonetheless, why? Why is this a thing, I'm asking myself. Long story short, by hand, secondary bevels on any tool by hand ruins the business end, in my opinion. So what the is this about? We're told we should put the primary bevel and then a secondary bevel of a, of a difference of about two degrees on a chisel. As life goes on, eventually the chisel becomes useless and needs a regrind, right? That's not the metal gone to waste, in my opinion. Not to mention it takes a year to do. I call BS to those that say I can do a whole set freehand in 20 minutes. I know it's a contentious issue at the best of times, but I'd like to know, why is a secondary bevel a thing? Why not have a primary bevel only, set to the degrees of the usual secondary bevel, and hone to mirror finish? And then just keep honing that, negating the need to spend a good part of the day regrinding said chisel. I'm regrinding this softwood chisel to put a fresh primary bevel on of 25 degrees, no secondary bevel, honed to 25 degrees, starting at 12.07. Twenty seven minutes, let's call that thirty minutes, for a full regrind on a twelve mil chisel, but we're not done yet. There's all the other stages that would normally be quick for a secondary bevel. Finishing off with the 8,000 grit stone, it's no mirror for sure, but it's sharp enough to unzip a person with ease. I don't know, I did it to myself once. When I'm rich and famous, I'll get the 1600 stone and uh, finish off with that. There's absolutely no denying it cuts way better without a secondary bevel. Try it, try it for yourself and feel how easy it is. Maybe because of the low angle you're thinking, or my freehand. What I want at the end of the day is an epically sharp chisel with the least amount of time getting it there, with the least amount of wasted metal, with the least amount of time keeping a good edge, and done in the simplest of manners too. I've reground one of my hardwood parentages to a primary bevel of 30 and I'm going to put a secondary bevel of about 30 degrees and see how that fares. Just to show you what, what differences I, that I see on a daily basis, you know, for argument's sake. The angles are kind of redundant at this point in time, not really much to do with this whole point. But just so you know, hardwood and softwood angles on chisels should vary in my opinion, because hardwood will round over at a low angle chisel very quickly, especially if you use a mallet. But we're, we're talking pairing chisels here though, Rem remember that. Uh, you might be like me, a bit of a heathen. I like to beat on them with a mallet. Just to show you what I mean, f***s and giggles, that's 13 vinegar strokes on a secondary, on an A2 steel for the secondary bevel. You can see it's nothing to take home to make your parents, eh? The cuts are fluffy at best. It's not that I'm not trying either. This has been demoralising me for at least 15 years till now. It's a stage for me that led me down this rabbit hole from here. Here we're in my chisel. It's a bit like a butter knife trying to cut a steak. Never really sharp enough. So now, instead of a 30 degree primary bevel and the secondary bevel of 32 degrees, I'm going to regrind the primary bevel to 32 degrees. The thinking here is I still have the same durability as usual and the edge will remain good for the same amount of time, right? Just to show you, it's the same chisel though, before I go and regrind it. 
that is. And with the magic of TV, that's being reground and honed all the way to 8000 grit. Bear with me here, I want to find out how long the edge keeps for. I'm going to let this play in real time, so you have a vague idea too. To be honest, there's all sorts going on here. Different amounts of pressure, the surface is becoming less flat. All sorts that could make the chisel look and feel like it's losing its edge or not. But there's no denying it. Those angrand slices are holding together as one piece. Very, very thin pieces as well. I wasn't getting that before with the secondary bevel. I did also ask a friend to see if this wasn't just in my head. I asked him to regrind a, a primary and polish it up and um, came back to me and said, I'm not saying at this point that the chisel is unusable, but I can feel a slight difference in the amount of force needed to cut. So I'm going to go back to the stone. I don't think I want to take it much further and risk the possible, you know, risk a possible regrind. But one day I'm going to take it to its limit to find that out. I'm not living on the edge these days. Back to the stone. I think that was 15 vinegar strokes to sharp again. Just a couple more than you would if you're doing it freehand on the secondary bevel. Oak cuts lovely too, so why bother with a secondary bevel? 
That's 30 minutes of my life I don't need to waste again and again and again every time that chisel becomes non-usable. If you have no sensible answers to this, don't bother or you just end up in the block section. Serious discussion in the comments below. I'd like to know. To recap, this means never having to regrind a chisel. Hopefully. I for one will stick with this method than the old way. I was really shocked of how much just so little effort needed to push that chisel through now and I, I think my chisel skills will drastically improve because of it. I wonder if it was the tool manufacturers that came up with that idea. Can you describe your pubic hair? I think you just let it go. It's a bush. No, I get Brazilian wax. Brazilian for the win. So if you like the cut of my jib, please like and subscribe. Share if you're really feeling kinky. And uh, we'll see each other again. Be lucky.